we have been practicing drawing lines and shapes and spaces in between shapes uh, since the beginning of school. We've been looking at things on paper, something that's already flat, and drawing it onto a flat piece of paper. This week, what we're going to try to do is look at things that are slightly more three-dimensional and translate that to a two-dimensional drawing. We've been practicing looking at edges, lines, and shapes and spaces, so this is just another step in that direction. We're going to be doing something called contour drawing, which is looking at and drawing the edges of things. I have a little selection of items here that I might draw, and I haven't really decided which one I want to do yet. You will also have choices. I often draw my keys, so I might draw something else today. Uh, the steps. Oh, yeah. When you have something picked out, I'm going to go with the brush. You need to really look at it and study it. And then if you do something called air draw, it gives you some practice. It's kind of like when basketball players get up to the free throw line and they put the ball in between their feet and they try to make the shot with just their hands and then they're thinking about how it's going to work. It's the same thing. And then when you are actually drawing, slow and deliberate is going to help you stay on track. So if I do the brush, I'm going to air draw it first. I'm going to have it on this piece of paper. Now, of course, there are some people who say, oh, I could trace it. And again, I would say this is drawing class, not tracing class. All the tracing in the world will not help you draw better. Drawing will help you draw better. So my brush, air draw. I'm going to draw it over here. I'm going to draw the metal part. I'm going to draw where the brushes come out. I'm going to draw the handle. And the funny thing is, I am drawing just a little bit above the paper, not making any mark. And you can see it. I can see it. Our brains are really cool. So now I have a pretty good idea of where it's going to go. I'm going to go ahead and do my contour line drawing. Keep in mind I'm going to go kind of quick, because it's a demo, and because I've done this a hundred million times. But I'm also switching over and using a darker pencil so that it shows better on the screen. I'm going to pick one nice long line to start with. And then I'm just like the duplication exercises. I'm going to pick and choose and move my way across and estimate sizes. I have a tendency to draw big. And that's okay. your eyes follow along the edges slowly. Mostly contours are the outside edges, but there's just some fun detail in here I want to get. Okay, if you stop and think about this, I just drew one side of the handle, now I have to draw the other side of the handle. It's a lot like doing that face-face uh, -face exercise. So I'm going to concentrate on the line that I already have over here and see if I can get it to match so it stays kind of symmetrical. And there's some other tricks. I didn't bring an eraser over here. Now oh, that'll just have to stay for now. I'm seeing the edge, the cut edge right there. Okay, so that is one contour line object of an drawing of an object. As always, when I get drawing, the words don't work so great. 